This video covers sanding the body. Please do all this in Loma 7 with the dust collector on. On the bottom left there's uh, a 120 grit symbol. That's what we're going to start with. Line up the holes so that the sander can extract as much dust as it can. Uh, you may want to wear hearing protection. Turn it on and bring the sander down um, in one motion. Try not to catch an edge, in other words. We're sanding with light to moderate pressure at most. Uh, just keep sanding until you've gotten rid of all of the burn marks from the laser cutter, um, the laser cutter support. And when you turn the sander off, make sure you, the disc comes to a complete stop before you set it down. And don't set it down on the table saw itself. That will mar the table. You may want to wear a dust collection for this next part, uh, excuse me, a mask, as the birch dust um, is a little strong. So we're starting with 220 grit on the siding, and that's all we need to do uh, since it's smoother. And it's by hand, so work your way around the siding. Uh, you can, I, I usually choose to maintain the burned edges of the top and the back. Uh, other, you can also sand them completely away. Uh, but it does look funny if they're sanded away in some parts and not in others. So you'll want to decide one approach or the other. Uh, now we're sanding the top. So the order I generally go is back, sides, top. I do the top last because it's the nicest, it's the surface I want to maintain the nicest. And we're removing all the bur burn marks from the laser cutter and any irregularities. Still at 120 grit. This step is optional. If you want a little more volume and responsiveness out of your guitar, uh, use this um, small paper cutter to make little etch marks at a 45 degree angle in the siding. And those will be about seven thousandths of an inch deep. And now you sand away those, uh, the wood until the etch marks are gone. And that will remove about ten thousandths of an inch of material. Uh, we're working between the waist and not quite the tail. Uh, we're working in the outer inch to two inches, and that's an optional step. Okay, now the guitar will be a lot more comfortable to hold if you chamfer some of the sharp edges, all, well, all of the edges around the periphery. This will take a while. Um, starting with a 150 grit sanding block on the birch back, work at a variety of angles, and I follow that with uh, hand sanding paper, 150. Now in the waist, you have to do that by hand, uh, or you could use a rubber sanding block. And here we're doing the top with 220 grit and lighter pressure. The spruce is a lot uh, softer than the birch, so we don't want to take away too much. Here I'm working at a shallow angle all the way around. And then I do the waist by hand and I blend. Um, I also inspect how uniform that edge is. I try to get that burned line, the brown line, relatively even around, so that's got a little more work to do. Uh, this step is optional. Uh, you'll probably have some regions that your siding is sticking out beyond the top or the back, and we call that proud. Uh, so take a sanding block and just uh, sand on top of it, and don't go too far. If you go too far, you'll start to, uh, to sand the, uh, the burn marks. And in the waste region, if you have proud siding, you'll have to do that by hand or with a rubber block. Now be cautious though that you don't sand through the top layer of plywood. Those sides are plywood and if you sand through the top layer it looks bad and more sanding makes it look worse. Now we're ready to clean up the periphery of the top. Uh, the, when you did the radiusing and the chamfering around the periphery you probably put some scratches so I just do a, a clean up pass. Now this is 220 grit. Just a, a light pass is all that's necessary. Uh, please empty the dust container uh, so it doesn't get over full. Now we're ready to blow off dust. So uh, this is in all this is in Loma 7. Uh, please don't blow off dust in 5 because that creates a lot of uh, dust on our machines. Uh, don't blow air on the sound hole however because that is an easy way to explode your guitar body. Uh, instead, um, move all the chips to one corner and then just vacuum them out. 